Okay, now I, I'm talking with an, another cousin. Hold it. What is your name? Valisa Tate. But my parents' names are Fisher. I'm uh, Nolan and Vicky's daughter, and Vicky and Valerie are twins. They're Hackleys. Okay, so her folks are Hackleys too. All right, now, as I was talking with you a minute ago, um, oh, first of all, what do you enjoy most about these kind of reunions? Oh, uh, the activities that we do with the kids. We just did a water balloon toss, which was hilarious. Um, we did a potato sack race, and now we're doing a water balloon fight with combining it with capture the flag. So <laughs> I like doing I like doing active things. It's fun. So when you start doing fun things with the kids, that uh, ties the kids more into this kind of a spirit of wanting to be around family. That and it also brings the adults back to their childhood, and it's very nostalgic and a good feeling to have. You know. Um, why do you feel that this is this kind of thing is relevant? You know, uh, what do you see? What is the importance of, of a reunion to you? I think it's relevant because when we grew up, we all of our family was in the same city within five minutes from each other. So I grew up with all of my first cousins, and now everybody's spread apart across the United States. So it's it's important to get family together at least every other year to you know, learn about their roots and learn about who they're related to because there are tons of cousins that I'm just meeting for, you know, for the first time today. So So now what city are you living in now? I live in New York City. Uh, you grew up here in Kalamazoo? Yes. So now what are you doing in New York? I work as a stunt woman. As a stunt woman? Yeah. Uh, in movies? Yeah. In movies and TV. Yeah, so um, I double in actresses in different TV shows and uh, movies that do action, like um, a tackle scene, or I did a scene where I had to pretend like I was running away from bad guys that were shooting at me, and I had to jump off of a boat, a 15-foot jump, into the East River in the middle of December. And that was, that was really cold. <laughs> Actress did not want to do that stunt. So mainly, mainly actions that the actors don't want to do or can't do themselves. So what actors have you? What what actresses have you doubled for? A double for Megan Good, on um, she's she's in that movie um, Think Like a Man, and the the stunt I had to do for her was run and um, tackle a guy and fall down a hill, and that was my first stunt ever. Wait, you tackled a guy and rolled down a hill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and my training in that was I used to play powder puff football in high school. <laughs> now looking at you, you got to you got to weigh all of a hundred. No, a little, you know, over a hundred. Yeah, <laughs> but I keep in shape. Yeah. So you ever broken anything doing this? No, no, knock on wood. <laughs> so uh, I mean, did you uh, was this uh, type of a daredevil spirit always inside of you? You know, um. I was I'm, I'm an art director, and I moved to New York to work in advertising as an art director, and then I would do acting and modeling on the side, and the stunts just came later in life. When I realized that I could make money off of my athleticism, I co incorporated that into my acting. And so, yes, you have to have a little bit of daredevilism in you, and the, the type of sports that I've done are daring sports like snowboarding and gymnastics and those are two really good sports to have as a background to start doing stunt work because you know how to fall without getting hurt in, in snowboarding, snowboarding and gymnastics. You know as a kid some, some kind of way you had to uh, find a way to tap that that thing inside of you that it gave you the confidence to step outside the box. How did you, uh, how did that type of uh, concept develop in you? You know what, um, I just had that experience the other night. I, I just started drumming two years ago and I was at a party where they had a cover band that um, was a really good rock and roll band and I kept saying, oh my gosh, I, I really want to go up there and join them and, and, and play on, on a song. And that was pretty daring because I'm a, I'm a drummer, I'm not like fantastic, so I don't know every song. And so I came up to the lead singer and I said, you know, hey, you guys are great. Um, I'm a drummer. He's like, you should join us. 
and then I, it was real. He was like wanting me to get up there, and, and he was asking me what songs I know. I didn't know any of those songs. He didn't know the songs I knew, and so he finally mentioned a song that I think I could play on, and got up there in the middle of the crowd. It was like 100 people there, and that was like a big daredevil moment because I had never played that song before, but I just played it by ear, and my husband said I killed it, and it was it was an awesome feeling. So yeah, I think part of it is what you're taught and part of it is what you have inside of you. If you have that drive and like daredevil kind of persona, that's what drives a person to try and do things that they've never done before. But to put it more specifically, you know, if you were to speak to a group of people where you put the message across to them to challenge themselves, I mean, how, how would you do that? Because right now, a lot of people are camped on the sidelines. And they're, they're afraid to fail. You can't be afraid to fail. And there are a lot of times where you're going to try something and it's not going to work. And you're going to be judging yourself and others will judge you. And you'll think, oh, what do other think, others think of me? You can't always be worried about that. You have to just go out there and try it. Otherwise, you're never going to know if you can do it or not.